Hi everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're going to show you how to install an HDMI extender. You might be asking yourself, why would I need an HDMI extender? Where there are certain situations where you will need an HDMI extender. For instance, we have a network video recorder in our closet and we want to be able to view the video from our living room. In order to view this video, we need about a 75 foot HDMI cable and we'd have to run it through the wall, through the attic, and down another wall into the living room. And because that cable's thick, it will be hard to fish down the wall. However, we do have a data line already running from our network box to that wall. So bingo. Solution. HDMI extender. This particular HDMI extender works for Cat 5e, Cat 6, and Cat 7. It's essentially a plug and play. And of course, there will be a link at the description to where you can buy this particular HDMI extender. They're around $100. This particular HDMI extender comes with a bi-directional IR remote, which allows you to control devices from either direction to the opposite end. However, for this situation, we won't need it. Let me show you how it works. Okay, this is the HDMI extender. This is the sender. The receiver is in the other room. And what we have here, if you look in the back, we have HDMI plugged in, and it runs all the way here. It's plugged into the sender. Now from here, you have a data connection. It can be a Cat 5e, Cat 6, Cat 7, and then what it does, it runs up the wall into the attic, and it's dropped down into the living room where there's a receiver where the cable's plugged into, and I'll show you that in a minute. But just make sure that when you, when you set this up, you need to have the sender here, and the receiver has to be in the other room. You can't reverse this, it won't work. And there's power for one of these. You only need power for one, and you can, plug it in here or plug it in the other one. I chose the receiver because I have more outlets. It doesn't really matter which one you plug the power into. So let's go check out the one in the other room. Okay, this is our receiver. This is the HDMI extender RX. This is the receiver and here is the data line coming from the sender going in. Here's our HDMI going out to our TV and this is the power supply going in. And like I told you before, you can plug it in here or plug it in the other one. It doesn't matter either way. We happen to have an extra power outlet here, and we didn't have one in our network box. And that's really it. This is perfect. This is how you set it up, and then I'm going to show you what the video looks like. Okay, this is our view from our living room. It looks beautiful. It's crystal clear. It's 1080. There's no way you could tell this is ran over at Cat 5e. If I had to guess, this would be HDMI to HDMI. So if you have the same situation where you need to watch your monitors from a recording device, this is the way to do it. It's pretty much plug and play. No matter which brand you choose, make sure to read the reviews. I've seen some cheaper versions of this product that just aren't very good. In this case, you do get what you pay for. And one more thing before we're done, I want to show you in the back here. We do have the HDMI going out, obviously, to the receiver, sender receiver. But we also have another monitor going out up here. And this is a monitor we have in our closet. So we have two monitors, which is nice. You can run two at once. Um, so we have one in the family room running there, and we have one up here in our closet. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. It's free. Thanks again for watching.